everybody, this is Zachary with the Independent Restoration Professionals, and today we're going to talk about the CEM DT9881 six channel laser particle counter. All right, let's take a little bit of a closer look at the kit itself. Again, the, the little scuff marks, this kit is field tested. We use this particular device at my company, uh, but let's open her up. So first thing you'll notice is obviously you have the laser particle counter here. Um, you have the dust cap. You have, again, the really cool slidey cap. Uh, if you want to get a closer look at that, this thing slides up and down. It protects the temperature sensor, um, which also gives you relative humidity and everything else. Um, and then you also have this here. This is your, um, this is how you clear the device. So you set this up by unscrewing. I'll show you. So you unscrew the top piece here. This complete, comes completely off. Then to reset the device, you screw this on. It's barbed at the end, right? So it's barbed here so you can add additional uh, tubing to it and run that wherever you want. Um, but then when you run the laser particle counter, it sucks air in through this round piece. And this round piece is a filter. And so it should zero everything out. So it's a really good way to just kind of reset the device. So we'll, we'll put this back for now. Also in the kit, you'll see you have a, um, you have your wall charger, which is nice. Um, the nice part about the wall charger is that if the battery dies, which is one thing that I've noticed with this device is that after the, I don't know, 10th or 12th time you use it, or if you leave it on and allow it to auto power down, um, you will run out of battery. So the cool thing is if you're ever on site and you need additional power, you just plug this into the wall and you're good to go. You also have your USB cable, so that way you can plug the particle counter directly into the computer. You can access all of your readings right directly from the meter. Or again, on the back side of this, there is, if you open this up, there's a slot for an SD card, which is also extremely handy. The kit also comes with a little tripod. So the tripod stand is cool. So if you're taking multiple readings, you screw, you screw the meter on to the tripod. And then you can tighten it, position it. It's got a little cotter pin in here. Um, but yeah, you can kind of just set that down and prop that up, right? So that's what that's for. And uh, here, I'll actually do that here. Um, and then you have your user manual. So every every kit should come with a really nice user user manual. Uh, it goes into the different characteristics of of the meter, how to set it up, and what to do. So that is what is inside. The laser particle kit. It does come with an SD card. Uh, I think it did come with batteries. Uh, you have your port on the side here as well. So this is where you would plug in um, the wall charger and then also the USB into the computer. And then just to kind of complete our tour on the back side, this is the camera up top here. And then you have your, your other pump for formaldehyde and carbon monoxide. So F1, function one, is default set to your memory. So if you hit that, you can go into your photos, your videos, and your particle logs. Uh, to hit back, you just hit the escape button, and that should bring you back. You have your settings at F2, which is nice. You can go and change your date time, your font color, language, brightness, auto power off, your alarm, memory status, etc. Um, function three is going to be information about the device. So it tells you it's a color LCD display, your page up, page down buttons, basically how to, to use the device. If you hit F3 again, the picture changes, shows you the a photo of the back of the device and tells you where all the sensors are. So the HCHO, which is the formaldehyde sensor, is this little circle here. Uh, the rest is carbon monoxide. You have your camera here and then this is your tripod mount. So that's pretty much what you need to know. Those are the basics. Uh, you can go into particle count by hitting enter. Naturally, you want to hit run stop, but it just it's not set up that way. So you have to hit enter. So let's do that now. 
and it opens up your six channels. It goes from 0.3 to 10 micron in size. Um, it has your ambient temperature, your dew point, your relative humidity, and your wet bulb at the bottom. Always make sure that you slide this down. Otherwise, you're going to be left with some, some really strange uh, readings. Um, to run the pump, you want to take off the cap, right? And then to run the pump, you just hit this run stop button. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, if you hit F3, you can go into your particle settings. Um, you can set your sample time, your start delay, your channel display, um, ambient temperature and relative humidity percentage, your sample cycle, sample mode, interval, uh, level detection, or level indication, sorry. Um, so those are all the different settings you can set up for your laser particle count. It's pretty neat because you can set it to run in, um, in intervals. So <clears throat> once I hit run stop, it's going to delay. So I have it set for, I think, a 20 second delay, which means that the, the pump will, will run for about 20 seconds um, without picking up any other readings, right? Um, you can set this for interval. So you can set your delay for 20 seconds, um, which is long enough to walk to like a middle of an average size room. So you can run the, the sample for, say it's a 30 second sample, um, but you're gonna run that five times with a 20 second delay, It'll and then it'll average out your readings to give you an idea of a laser particle count for that room. Let's go ahead and, and just run an initial laser particle count. Now say you just took these results outside and you're taking uh, different samples outside different apartments. So what you're going to do to differentiate between the samples is you can hit video or you can hit photo. So let's do that. We'll hit photo. Sometimes the button's weird. I only qualm with this. So here you go. So now you have your samples and you're going to take a photo. So we'll hit uh, F2. Now you have your photo, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but your sample results are overlaid directly on that photo. You can hit save by hitting F1, or you can hit trash, and it reverts you back to that screen. You can also do the same thing by hitting F2. Now you can take a short video uh, to kind of show your, your sample location. Hit escape to go back, uh, and then save that device to upload to your computer later. All right, so that wraps up our review on the CEM DT9881 six channel laser particle counter. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for new and exciting content. And if you want to be part of the larger discussion, check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash INDRESTO.